So what do we do? We have to first of all simplify it. So for the first term, we have it as 2 to the power of x plus y is equal to 32 can easily be expressed to be in base of 2 because 32 is 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32, 2 power 5. So instead of writing 32, I'll write it as 2 power 5. Okay? Then for the second one, we have it that 3 to the power of 3y minus x is equal to, if you look at this, we have 27. It can be seen as 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27. 3 power 3. So instead of writing 27, I'll write 3 to the power of 3. Okay? So since I have this, this can actually be my equation 1 and this will be my equation 2. Okay? So the next thing I have to do is that in exponent, whenever we have the basis to be the same, okay, we simply equate the powers. So I can easily say that x plus y is equal to 5. Okay? We can call this equation 3. Okay? Then the next thing we do is that we look at this one. We can also see that uh, 3y minus x is equal to 3. So at this point, we can call this equation 4. Okay? So since we have this, it is very easy to see that this is clearly a simultaneous equation. So what do I have to do? I will solve it by elimination method. To do that, I have to add equation 1 and equation 2. Okay? The reason why I'm adding is that the coefficients of x are the same, just that this one is negative 1 and this one is just plus 1. So when I add the two together, x will be eliminated. So what do you observe? x plus minus x is 0. So y plus 3y will give me what? Will give me 4y. Okay? And this is equal to 5 plus 3 is going to give me 8. So I have it to be what? 8. So for us to get the value of y, we simply divide through by 4 and divide both sides by 4. If you divide both sides by 4, 4 cancels out. You see that our y is equals to 8 divided by 4 is what? 2. So here y is actually 2. Do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more math tips like this. Then since we got y to be 2, it's very easy to see that from equation 3, we can so say that from equation 3, from equation 3, this is our equation 3. Now, from equation 3, we always know that x plus y is equal to 5. Okay? So, what we need to do here is just to plug in the value of our y, which is 2, in that equation, so that we can easily find the value of x. So, what do we do? We have it that x plus 2, because y is now 2, is equal to 5. So for us to get the value of x, we just have to subtract 2 from both sides, okay? If we subtract 2 from both sides, we basically see that x is equal to 3. So at the end, the value for x and y will be what? Will be x is 3, we have it that x is 3, and y is what? 2. So x is 3, y is 2 is the only number that can satisfy the given equation. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting tips like this. Comment your thoughts about the method. Do you really like it? And what do you really expect? Bye.